some sunflowers. Plants and flowers. Okay, so today we're going to redo our garden. You will see it's quite a mess currently. There's absolutely no plants that side. That is just weeds, so we need to take that out. There's a dead palm tree. This side looks a bit better though, but we're going to take out all these rose bushes, plant a new one and some other plants. And also making a oxtail poiki in the instant pot just for like food and energy and then we're gonna plant another cactus in this pot the other one died and maybe we will add a water feature here on the side and guys remember to like and subscribe I hope you enjoy this video especially with my hair all messed up as well <laughs> we are here at lots of pots to buy some trees, plants and flowers, whatever we feel, what we want in our garden. Okay, so the first thing we decided to get is a bird feeder and one that you can move around wherever you want to. So, yeah. Next up is a dwarf lemon tree. For tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Rene just wants it for tequila, yeah. And here's the mini dwarf lemon trees. Which one do you want? Huh? Mm. Okay, choose the best one. <laughs> choose the best one. Next is a cactus that will grow as tall as the other one at home. Which one? This one. That one. I can't touch it. It's of course, you can touch it. So cute when they're so tiny, so puny. Okay, now we are getting roses. As the gentleman says, these roses will make more flowers and bloom more. Next, Caprices Wilma. Now for some daisies. And what else? Yes, that's a good one. It grows big. What did you say you call them? Gerania. Gerania. Okay, and we'll take Other this. Name is Malfa. Fancy Malfa, yeah. The one here at the back looks nice. Have to trim them, eh? Like oh, the daisy is the other one. This is the uh, Madeira. the Madeira. It's, it's a family of the daisies as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is. That's a Tecumaria. So we'll take the orange. Okay, so next is a Frelinia. These plants you can shape. Some sunflowers. Oh, my friend is going to be so happy when she sees this. Some gloves. And I think we're all set. So this is the water feature that we will be taking along with us. Heck has delivered the water feature. So here it is. We just need to assemble it. And then everything we got from lots of pots, bird feeder, and then all our plants and flowers with the soil and compost and everything that we need let's do some gardening guys oh and now we will also be starting to uh, make the oxtail instant pot as well so that's gonna be slow cooking while we are busy doing gardening let's make some spanish oxtail guys so here is all your ingredients you will need the following which is bell peppers garlic salt 
um, beef stock cubes, carrots, your oxtail, onions, tomatoes, bay leaves, leeks, dry red wine, and obviously your instant pots as it's going to slow cook and then carrots for mash. And potatoes for mash. So now we're going to saute all of the vegetables. So now I will be pouring in some olive oil. Okay, so now we're going to transfer the vegetables to the blender. So now we're going to blend all, up all our vegetables. So now we're going to add a cup of water. Some roughly diced tomatoes. Had sliced, not diced. Sliced, diced. Then two beef stock cubes. Do you think I should crush it? And two teaspoons of salt. So now we're going to brown the oxtail, oxtail on both sides. So that's what we do. So now we're going to put in a cup of dry red wine. And our blended vegetables. Now we're going to add bay leaves. So now we're going to slow cook the ox down. That's and that's it. So now it's going to slow cook for four hours. Okay, let's dish up guys. Dinner is served. Oh, yummy, yummy, yum. Some oxtail. Goodness. Some sauce. Okay, so here's the parts for the water feature. We're going to try and assemble it now. Okay, so that's the planning. It's going to go in the corner measurements we're going to move everything around again okay, okay so that's the end thing we still need to put the pump in and water okay so now we're going to put the pump in Let's take it out and lift it up. So that is the pump. Okay, so we got the pump in. So I'm going to test it, put some water in before I cut the wires and then link it up to the power to this light. So now we're just going to fill the pond with water. It's going to take a while. No! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so here is the completed water feature up and running with the power on. Melodies to my ear. Okay, so to finish off the water feature, we're going to move the two pots. That side, that side is the general. Third seal, that's also that side. But now it's a new one. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to put some prime in, get the water ready for fish, take all the chlorine out, take one tap a day, we're going to do this for seven days, but you can add fish, we're going to add that tomorrow. Okay, so 
Now we've got some goldfish, so we've got to float them into the quarter cup or half a cup and full cup and then chuck them in. So it's time for them to go in. Chuck them in. That's going to take an hour to put them in the snow. You don't want to put Okay, so for the goldfish we got sinking pallets and then floating pallets. Some protection. Some protection. Okay, so now for our first struggle, we have to remove this. tree out on the conos but now this weed is a problem so we're gonna chop it off we try to pull it out it's way too deep so we're gonna chop it off and then inject it with this to get it hopefully it doesn't come back to prevent it from growing any further yep. fill that hole <laughs> We got tomato plants for free, so let's plant them. Put it in the hole. Okay, so with everything we put in, we put in some root boulder to help it grow. Here's a start. Go tree, go! Okay, so our lemon tree is going to go there in the corner. You can see Jamie digging a hole. Jamie! <laughs> now for the sunflower. Okay, now for the cactus. If it doesn't poke me. I can get it out. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get another glove. Okay, so Jamie's just moving the succulent to the cactus box there. I think it'll be better that side. Okay, there you go, the succulent is planted, it, four on that side and four on that side. Renee removing the old rose trees. Show their muscles. Just taking some of the grass out to make more space for more plants. Nice purple flower. Pink rose bush. And now for a bit of orange in the garden. Beautiful flowers. <laughs> now we're going to sprinkle some fertilizer. <laughs> so now that we have sprinkled the fertilizer, we're 
fertilizer. We are going to add compost on it. Cutting all of the dead flowers and branches for regrowth. Remember to maintain it in the future. This is our cactus and succulent food. So we will mix it with water now and spray it on the cactuses. Let's do some rose care and this is for the control of insects and fungus diseases as indicated. It looks bad now because we cut off all the old roses. Okay, so this used to be a nice big blue plant with nice blue flowers but we've got some mealy bugs here and we got to treat that with this product here. That should fix it and make it all better again. Get it not over there, even on the ground. Let's put some compost on the grass to make it nice and green. This neighbor is going to be stinky. Okay, so now that we've spread the compost over the grass, I'm just going to turn on the irrigation to make it nice and wet. Remember to do that after you do the compost. Okay, so there we have it. The irrigation is on. The plants are still small or chopped up now. It will take a short video for you on YouTube. I hope you guys like this video and remember to like and subscribe. Till next time.